Legs together, hands on thighs. Get up. Awesome. Nice. So, um, <clears throat> lots of striking tonight, guys. Lots of striking. Lots of sort of a remembering a combination and envisaging. Envisaging, is that such a word? Envisaging an attacker in front of you. So, um, please just try and think of what a personal structure looks like in front of you. If you train with a partner, that's cool. So, I mean, Darren, you've got a crack. If you've got a punch bag or you've got something you can work with, that's cool. If not, you just have to dry drill it, dry drill it, dry drill it. All right. The good thing about dry drilling when kicks are involved is, is that you have to work on your stabilizing muscles to keep in one place. Does that make sense? Whereas if you are kicking something solid, you don't get to do that. So, there's pause and against, there's benefits for and against. All right. So, what I wanted to do, guys, if you've got your pad or your shield or your melon, um, what I want to do for me, guys, please, is, is to shadow fight around it, all right? Shadow fight around it. But imagine it's a big structure, all right? So if this was me, I'll be working around my big structure. Of course, if you've got a big structure, that's cool too. We all good at this? <coughs> Happy? Okay, don't work around that structure, guys. Just be in earshot of me. So working independently, working around your structure, coming in close, using long-range weapons, Patting kicks, striking over with the target, using your melon as your um, pretend structure. Of course, if you want to, you can do some stomps, kneel down and get on top and strike, do what you need to do. Be good? So let's crack on with that, guys. Two or three minutes. Turn the back in the room. <coughs> So they're just working around the melon so the space in place <laughs> So guys, keep doing that, but every time I say go, just for a short burst, when I say go, work really hard. <laughs> when I say stop, ease down. So go would be, <laughs> stop would just be ease down. You understand? So work around your structure, nice and easy. Go and stop, ready? Go, stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. We'll shake it out, shake it out. Nice. Good, good, good. Gloves on for me, guys, please. Are you back, Shelf? Yep. So, cool, nice. Uh, for this, guys, just really emphasize for me what's a rotation, all right? What's <coughs> rotation with your strides, all right? Everything else you know. Let's go. Hands up. Two. Three. And left. Two. Big stomp. Again, remember, and if you're on your own, don't just kick the air. Imagine there is a target in front of you guys, all right? So really have that visualization of the target, all right? Happy guys? Three. Big stomp. Boom. We charge that knee nice and high strike through. And if you watch um, the KMG videos, when he does his video, all right, with his stomp kicks, he advances through. So try a bit of that as well. So we can stop, recover because we want to create space, or we can advance through if you want to too. All right, so add that in as well. Go, two, advance, advance, advance. Nice, you find yourself on a different leg, switch kicks, come back with some roundhouse. Let's go again, three, 
Nice. One up. Good. Duck under. Duck under, come back with a cross. Boom. Duck under. Duck under and roll, come back with a hook. Nice. Two. Good. What are we doing, Shelly? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Yep. 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 Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hammer for me. Big hammer for me. Nice. One up. Bump. Bump. Two up. Bump, bump. Bump. Very nice, guys. Duck under. Big bomber. Boom. Yes. Cool. Hands up, hands up. Keep walking around me. All very good. Nice, nice, nice. Follow me. Track me. Track me, track me, track me. Two twos help me down. <laughs> big stomp, big stomp, big stomp. Boom. Very nice. Cool. Enough. Guys, you're awesome. Uh, God's off. <laughs> So I'm gonna um I'm gonna get Shelly out to do some work on some combos, all right? So we're gonna do lots of repetition of some, some fundamental strikes and the uh, kicks, all right? Building up into a kind of uh, a kind of a workable combination, but including roundhouses, all right? Building some nice roundhouses. So um, they're always something that we kind of just when we practice, we're quite well quite lazy with our roundhouses. So we just want to revisit those, bring those back into a four, all right? So I'm just going to get Shelly to do a basic striking combination. You know what all the main checkpoints and key points for these strikes are, so make sure I was tucked in, striking through the target, rotating the hips, let's pull the chin down, making sure that we kick, we flex forward, nice big strong powerful kick, all right? So emanate what you know, guys, not necessarily what you see out here, all right? So Shelly's going to come out for me. All I want Shelly to do for me is a left, right, regular rear kick. Right, left, right, regular, rear kick. So it's going to be um, left, right, regular, rear kick. I don't really like left and right because if you're left handed, that's different. So let's call it lead and rear. All right? Lead and rear. So lead, rear, rear. Ready? Watch. Nice. You all understand that, guys? We've done this lots of times before. But I really wanted to emphasize on three power strikes. If there isn't three strikes accumulating in a move and out the way. The three bombers. Any one could be the one that pushes me and knocks me out of the way, right? Does that make sense? If it doesn't, it could be that one. I'm actually dying to kick it, right? It could be that one, all right? It could be ah, this one that finishes them off. But her intent is to destroy me of all three, one after the other, so I've been destroyed three times. So I'm going to work with you guys out in front. If you're with a partner and you've got yourself a mallet, Right, go and do that, or kick shield, or if you've got some focus pads, whatever you've got, make some boss. Happy? Those guys out in front, but on your own. Same drill, I'm going to raise the melon up. Right, raise the melon up. You're going to go and lead rear. I'm going to step back and you're going to kick. Be good? I just want to do that twice. Do that twice. I'm not going to say anything. Then I'm going to suggest something at the end, and I want to know if you did it anyway. You ready? Let's go. Bam, bam, bam. Bum, bum, bum. Nice. Now, be honest with yourselves. What am I always asking of you in class? To move, right? To move. So I want to see, if you didn't do it, guys, give me one big, two big strikes, left, right, kick, recover your position, move out of the way, stand up around the area. Does that make sense? Recovering your position could still be to carry on attacking, all right? Could be to carry on attacking. You could find that your kick is so effective that you half recoil and advance forward and carry on closing, all right? So recover your position in order to carry on a fight or to move out of the way. So two more for me, guys, in this one, please. This time, each time, move right out of the way. Scan, pick an object, come back. I'll be waiting for it. Ready? Go. Bam, bam, bam. Yes. Again, really hard, guys, all right? Really hard. I have to say, you lose that one around, I'm not really feeling it in the melon, all right? I'm not really feeling it in the melon. So you're feeling a bit light, or you're stopping short. So I want to feel it in the melon, all right? You ready? Let's go. Yes, one more. <coughs> Much better. You ready? Go. Bum, bum, bum. Nice. Very, very nice. I'll get Shelly to come again for me. <coughs> so remember that combination, because we're going to use it later. We're going to stick with the lead, and all I want Shelly to do for me is just a hook. All right, we know that the hook is a whole body affair, and we know we've got 90 degree angles with our hips, with our elbows, and our body. 
So we're looking through this. We understand that our shoulders here and our hands are there. So this is basically a hook, right? We know to recover, we drop our elbows in, recover our position. All right, so lead hook, lead hook for me. As I raise it. So remember, remember with hooks, hooks generally are off something. She could just pop it in here, but knows to get here, she's still going to go back right. So if I wanted a hook here, I've still got to load it a little bit, all right? You can do the ones, but they're quite lazy. So she's going to go slightly to one side and hook, and all I want to do is hook, go, but in recovery position. We all understand that, guys? So hooks, again, nice. Very nice. Get the idea, guys? So thanks, Joe. Keeping your hands up, guys, remember, hook, hook, lead hook, this same action, all right? Ready? Hook, boom, yes. Hook. Of course, you can use heel of the hand as well, guys, if you want to, all right? Heel of the hand is, 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 is more powerful, not more powerful necessary, but in terms of injury, you know, you can whack this through, all right? Really hard. And you're not lost the chance of damaging your wrist, so. And also the developer used to do a palm strike across here with the same action. You get hooked with a palm, but also the ear drops from the same size. Trying to get it in that action. So two for one, right? Two for one. Hook, go, boom. Lead hand all the time. Hook, boom, go. Nice. Hook, boom. Yes. Hook, boom. Yes. Hook, boom. How do you look, Michelle? Yes. Good, good. Maybe two more there, because if you've got this, we'll move on. So I want to spend some time just working on these combos. So let me just have a look at the list. Steve off his chair, is he doing this well, with keyboard? We've lost Steve. We've lost Steve, Steve's not blank. I'm quite sure he comes back. Everybody on there, everyone comfortable, know this stuff, all right? So let's do two more then, guys, two more, um, but the movement afterwards, all right? So see this as something that you've done in between a series of combos, ready? Go, boom, yes. Really powerful, really powerful. Hands up, tucked in all the time. Go, boom. Yes, nice. Hands up, we're getting the weights. I'm going to get Shelly to come out again. Now I want to add those two together without the kick. So she's going to go, uh, <coughs> sorry, I want to say, left right hook or lead right hook. Same as we normally do with other three, right? She's going to go, bum, 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 bum. Ready to go. Bum, bum, hook. Nice. Nice and fast, guys, all right? Bum, 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 bum. Go. Nice, better. See how she did her last hook with her pole? She put more into this. She hit me, she hit me really well and followed through, which meant that she was loaded for the hook, which I was speaking about earlier, all right? Does that feel better? Mm -hmm. Again. Now, even better that time, all right? So this goes back to the point, thanks, Ellen. What I'm saying about make sure every strike that you do in a self defense situation counts. This isn't us trying to mark and trying to range something. We don't have that time, right? It's kicked off. We don't have time, all right? I want to say this, not boxing. and boxers are the best kind of transcribers. But we don't have time when it kicks off to dance and do our stuff, all right? It's also, I want to destroy him with this one. I want to destroy him with this one. I want to destroy him with this one. Does that kind of concept make sense to you? I know it does, so I speak about it in class. So, same drill, same drill. Lead, rear, big bobber hook. Lead rear big bomber hook. We'll do five, stand by. Go, bum, bum, bum. Yes, Shelly's rolling the shoulders while she's watching the camera, so we're all nice to do it. That's why. Go again. Bum, bum, bum. Yes. Hands up all the time, stay tight. Again, bum, bum, bum. Yeah, again, Shelly. Yeah, nice. Looking sharp, guys, Shelly's telling me. Again, bum, bum, bum. Nice. One more for me, guys. One more. And lots of movement off this one, all right, guys? Lots of movement off this one. Ready? Go. Bam, bam, bam. Move, 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 move. Keep tracking me, keep tracking me. One, two, rear kick. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. One, two, kick. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Lead hook. Go. Boom. Yes, nice. Lead, rear, hook. Go. Lead, rear, hook. Nice. One, two, rear kick. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Again. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Keep following me. Keep following me. Hook. Bam. Nice. Hook. Go. Bam. Hook high. Hook low. Go. Bam, bam. Nice. Follow me. Follow me. Uh, lead. Rear. Hook. Go. Bam, bam, bam. Nice. Nice. Hands up. Hands up. So it's going to come out and keep this going. So I'm going to get Shelly to do a uh, 
Just for a quick revision, I guess, just find position for each other. Yeah, so lead, lead legs, we're talking about leads and rears, right? Leads and rear leg roundhouses, all right? So a lead leg roundhouse will go inside. That's really close. Some of you are now saying you wish, but trust me, I felt that go past, all right? Lead, lead leg roundhouse. Um, remembering that we recover our position back to stance and don't narrow stance. So we keep it together. So again, recover stance. A bit feisty, quite a stance. A bit up, recover stance, but not back together. Get the idea, guys? Lead round house, all right? Lead round house, all right? Lead round house, all right? So, what I mean about recovering stance is, the inside part, that I'm doing this back to stance. Back to stance. So, that foot displacement moves out, all right? Boom. See what's happening? This is what we want to happen. Boom. Because then we can destroy those other combinations. So, strength of points position for me. Point position. So, if she was to walk towards me, boom, I'll pop that leg out. Does that make sense? As an option. So, lead leg roundhouse kicks. Lead leg roundhouse kicks. Now, you can step to kick and you can step out to kick. You just got to remember. Doing anything like this and this to, to do your roundhouse kick is like doing this to punch, like doing that to punch, like doing this. It telegraphs what you're going to do. Does that make sense? Whereas if you could do something like this, bam, 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 and strike off it, what you're doing is doing all that footwork on its way. Does that make sense? So you're not kind of kicking. So it flows nicely. So it's not wrong to step or move, but see if you can do it from your front leg straight off. And turn your hips in and work your feet as you go. Make sense, guys? Make sense? <coughs> yes, I know I'm limping. I've got an active knee. But there you go. Getting bored of injuries, I can tell you. Are ready? So, working with me, working with me, when I do this, lead roundhouse, guys. Lead roundhouse, all right? Yes. Play up, lead leg round house, lead leg round house, nice, lead leg round house, cool. How are they looking, Shelly? Yeah, fine. So uh, I'm going to just get Shelly to give me the camera, because um, we don't do a lot of this, so I just want to have a quick look, flick through, guys, and just give you some coaching. So can I do some of those reps for me? I'm just going to have a quick look at you. Nice. So turn your hip in a little bit for me, Victoria. It's nothing wrong what you're doing, because it's still a diagonal. You can still kick diagonally, but I want you to turn your hip in so you're coming in more horizontal. So it's more of a horizontal, as if I'm cutting into it, not up to it. Just watching Emma and Darren now. Hello. Nice. Yes, Semi. Whip that bottom part of your leg round it. Yes, that's the one. My mind connected and you did it. Grace, turn in more for me. So rather than kind of doing this, look at my leg. This is kind of what you're doing. Kind of add that in. So you lead with the knee. Pass this way and whip that part round. Yes. Turn your hip in it's like you're trying to get on a motorbike. Imagine there's a horse here and you're trying to get on it. You're trying to get on a horse or a bike. Richie, when you're kicking, it's okay to drop this hand, but if you remember on the McMaster stuff, you can drop it to kick, but your other hand needs to cover. So drop it, if you, yeah, that's it. If you're gonna do that stuff, I don't normally teach it like that, but if you're gonna do it, then make sure you're still covering. I always like to cover because people forget, but if you're gonna kick, cover up the other hand. Nice. Awesome, guys, let me have another look. Let's see you, Adam. Yeah, see where your left hand's going, it's touching the wall back beside you. So yes, you can kick like this, but make sure your other hand covers up or keep covered. Yeah, watch your left hand, not down here, mate, cover up. Yeah, or if you are going to drop it to give you power, block with the cover up of the other hand. So you'd be covering up like that with the other hand. Nice. Turn it turn more around, in, more hips in rows for me. More hips in, like there's a big banana tree you've got to cut down. Yes, better. 
Nice, Sue. Very nice. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Miss Robinson? Don't touch any buttons. Cool. This time, guys, what I want to do for me, please, so just get the mic on. So we've got a, a lead leg low roundhouse, and we're going to look at a rear leg medium to high roundhouse. Now, if you can't go high, it doesn't matter. You can go low too, all right? It doesn't, doesn't matter. <clears throat> so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask Shelley to go here for me, just to see if she does it. Nice. Cool. I'm happy with that. Good. Watch again. So if you've got a partner, just watch what I'm doing with my hips. I'm just putting some beef into it. One, because I want to protect myself if that happens, but also it gives her something to bounce off. Okay? There's no need for that. One more. There we go. Nice. Cool. So lead roundhouse, guys. Imagine now, I teach this another time, that we're getting on top of a, a, a horse or a milk bike. So we're going round, so we're leading with our hips, round, and then we just rip, boom, rip that clock round. Cool. So I'm going to move around with you guys. Move around with you. If I do this, roundhouse me. If I do this, knees roundhouse me. We're all happy with this, guys. You'll know whether you've got this or not in terms of roundhouses. And if you haven't, move that to the top of your list of stuff that you need to practice. If you're confident with all of this stuff and inside the fences and 360s and chokes, and this isn't so good, put it on your list of stuff to practice more often. All right, get some reps in. So move with me, move with me. Rear leg, rear leg. All here, I don't mind which guys. Not flexibility competition, all right? Lead leg, lead leg. So remember, it's not a, we're not doing diagonal, guys. We're not doing this, all right? We're doing this with our hips, turning, 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 turning. And then whipping past our target. Same for the roundhouse lead one. We're not doing this because it's just a side kick. We're moving on, 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 hips in, hips in, hips in, and kicking. Make sense? Let's go. Better? Good. Go. Still can't feel anything, guys. So this is starting a little bit harder for me. Go. Yes. Go. Nice. Go. 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 Yes, get those hips in. Go. Go. Nice. Go. Cool. Now, let's try and put this all together into a nice striking combination, right? A nice effective striking combination. Which can be born out of any defense, right? Front choke, strike, strike, rear round pass. All right? Inside defense, strike the mare lead leg of the attacker, come back with some other combinations. This really adds to our finishing modes and our striking com combination. So the combative side of fighting, right? The combination of seeing an opportunity, delivering the right tools, the right angles, and the right angles. But at the pace that you recognize it, that's all it's about. So it's only going to point for me. So we're going to fire through these dead quicker, right? And then we're just going to practice, 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 practice. So I want Shelly to go lead, rear, kick, normal straight kick. Ready? Bum, bum, bum. Cool. So if I was going to have a chat, chat with Shelly, i will tell her to stop doing this. Nope. <laughs> My fault, you missed it. Yeah? There we go. Nice. Cool. We're happy with this, guys. So we're only going to do 10 of these just by way of quick revision. If I show you that you need to do quite a bit, you can put in the hands. You ready, guys? So bam, bam, bam. Recover your position. Remember, there's three strikes going on here. Knock me out, knock me out, smash me out. Ready? Bum, 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 kick. That's one. Again, bum, 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 kick. That's two. Remember to move off the line out the channel, guys, and scan. Scan here, not like this. All right, ready? That's two. Go, bum, bum, bum. Again, bum, bum, bum. Move out the way and scan. Again, bum, bum, bum. Go. Oh, yes. One more for me, guys, please. Bum, bum, bum. Move out the way and scan. Hands up. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Cool. Next one. Next one, next one, next one. So um, I'm going to get Shelly to. Uh, uh, 
Yeah, I'll use the card. I'll use the card. It's not a one of the So I'm going to get Sherry, all right, to do front, rear, front. All right, so lead, rear, uh, inside, front post. So it was something like this, I think. So I do a bam, bam, bam. Nice recovery position. Does that make sense? One more time, watch what she's doing. Just look at the combination, guys, all right? Bam, bam, bam. So that follows a nice principle of straight strikes, circular strikes, high and low. Does that make sense? And when you're, in fact, it doesn't matter. When you're striking with a powerful kick to, from your lead leg to a structure that supports by another leg going outwards, we need to stop the balance, all right? Does that make sense? Happy with that? Because if we're in a 60 40 type of position, I haven't got so much on yet, and I'll, this is where this one leg is going to be displaced. Happy? So I'm going to ask you guys to go lead, rear, lead, inside, ground house. Happy with that, guys? We all good with this? Just have a little look at it for me, shall we, please? Ready? So lead, rear, Inside round house, recover your position. Nice hands up all the time, guys. Hands up. Lead, rear, round house. So I'm not going to tap anymore, guys. I just wanted to do it, all right? Ready? Lead, rear, round house. All right? If you want, remember, we can cock our legs. But we're in this position here, we're moving round. Does that make sense, guys? So if I'm going to separate stars, if I'm in this stance and kicking this in, I'm whipping that leg round. Okay? Bum, bum. Lead, round house. Nice little technique again. Bum, bum, lead round house. Buckle that leg. Nice. Again. Bum, bum, buckle that leg. Again. Bum, bum, buckle that leg. Nice. How are we getting on, Sherry? Thank you. Really nice, guys. Really nice. Uh, two more for me, please. Two four more for me. But whole finishing mode. Whole finishing mode. And I want you to go at a pace, just for these two, that you respond to where I am when they fourth or fifth strike, depending on where I put myself, just so you can see your imagination, right? So if this happened in a fight and you did something, you don't know what the result was going to be, but you'd have to react to it. Does that make sense? So I'm going to react to a couple of your strikes. You'll stay in the fight, deal with whatever it is that you see, then move out. All right? So we're going to bring back some stuff that's at the back of that one. All right? So I'm going to ask for the same again. We lead, rear, roundhouse, and you deal with it at the end, what you see. Ready? Here we go. Lead, rear, roundhouse. So what does this one do, Shay? Any gun. Any hammered me? Okay, again, one more time, guys, for me. You'll know what you did, guys, all right? So if my head is out here, you could have probably come back with the knee, hammer to the back of the head. Or just push me out of the way and gain space and run, guys. It's never a wrong answer, right? It's never a wrong answer. Right? It's just what you do. See different things, see different things. So perhaps we'll do two more of those then. Ready? Ready? Lead, rear, front round house. Yeah, nice. So some people are turning to do a side kick to the side of my leg. Some guys are doing hammers, some guys are kneeing me. So if you think about it, um, for the five minutes, Shelly. My roundhouse there to Shelly, right, didn't work. She stepped out of the way. Step out the same way I did, so step your right leg. There, so she stepped sideways, right? So if I did, if I did this and it didn't work, because we know in KMG roundhouse kicks, we drop our leg in front, I can never switch to a side kick. So the same for if I'm doing a rear roundhouse kick. KMG asks us to carry here, right? So that means that I could then carry on my attack. So if I did this and it wouldn't work, I can carry on something else. Does that make sense? So one more, guys. Just 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 check in your uh, imagination here, right? So when you do your shadow fighting, you can see, for example, when I'm doing this, I'm uppercutting someone's chin, and now I'm thinking this is where the head's going to be. So this is where I'll come back and hammer. Does that make sense? Or I'm doing this with a hook. That means their head's going to be at this. <coughs> I'm knocking them out across the chin with this one. So it's quite good to just. Visualize, um, like I said at the beginning, the structure of the person in front of you. So, one more, guys. Same, same drill. Front, rear, lead round house, deal with what you see. Nice. You ready? Here we go. Bump, bump, bump. So, 
So what you see is your business, but you pop me out, you probably do a double tap, bump, kick to the groin, bring me down, uppercut, hammerhead, whatever it may be. Are you all good with this? All understand the idea, guys? So delivering some tools. Thumbs up from everybody so far. Cool. Now, I'm going to get Shelly out to come out again. So, mixing it up from side to side. So, if you think about what we've just done here, right? We've done lead, 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 lead. Again, lead, lead, lead. Now, I'm going to ask Shelly to go rear, hook, and boom, there we go. Without asking too much of it, it kind of feels the thing to do. It kind of feels the thing to do. So, it's a nice thing to think about. So, I'm going to go rear, hook, rear, recover her position. Cover first before you step away. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Make sense? All happy with this, guys? So, rear round house, except make sure. The technique is the same, so I won't bore you with the detail of that. Needless to say, we're getting on that motorbike, we're getting our hips up, and we're rotating round, and we're turning this in so that this part can come sideways to our target where we're going to go. The only difference is, is your hips will be up, 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 to the head, or down, 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 if you go to the body. On the horizontal roundhouse, not right? a uh, diagonal or, or, or a vertical roundhouse. All right, so I'm going to get you guys, probably Chase, to do a rear lead hook, rear roundhouse kick. All right, so it'll be something like this. All right, um, it's got no combination, right? So it'll be a rear hook, look where I'm set up now, ready for my roundhouse kick. You all good with this? Nice. So, rear, hook, roundhouse kick. Ready? Go. Rear, hook, roundhouse kick. And of course, if you have partners with um, gloves on or boy pads or something, you can do this sort of business with your partner. Again, rear, hook, roundhouse. One more time for me. Rear, hook, roundhouse kick. Again, rear, hook, roundhouse kick. The cubby position, move out of the way. We're in camera with the square, but you've got as much space as you've got. Again, ready? Rear, hook, roundhouse. All right, with me, guys, move with me. Let's get these reps in. Rear, hook, roundhouse. That Richie back now, is it? Mm -hmm. That's what he did on the phone for him. Where are you? We ready? Let's go. Rear, hook, roundhouse. Rear, hook, Roundhouse. Again, okay, two more for me, guys, please. Rear, hook, roundhouse. Nice. So, some nice combinations there, guys, all right? So, if we have the principle of high, low, and low, high, why can't we flip those on its end? So, again, can you come out for me, Shelly, please? So, if we're going to think that I'm already in range, right? And then kicking. Why not then, if she was going to use me out of range from her limbs, her, her arms, she could reverse it, right? So she could go lead, lead, and move out of the way. Does that make sense? Because of range. Makes sense? So if I'm here, I can't hit her. Well, I can hit her here. I can do my other business. Does that make sense? So lead, bump, 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 and move out of the way. Again. Bump. Bam, bam. Nice. We all understand that, guys? Right? So, we just start on our attack sequence for the, the, the longer range tool first, all right? So, again, we'll just fire through these guys for the boost, fire through these. So, start off with me, for me, guys, please. Lead round house, step, left, right, or lead rear. We all understand? So, fire through here, guys. Let's talk about more doing it as we try to get. We ready then? So, lead. Left, right. And again, Shell? Mm-hmm. Lead, left, right. Yes. Lead, left, right. Nice. Lead, left, right. Nice. Last one for me. Lead, left, right. Duck under for me. Move out of the way, move out of the way, move out of the way. Cool. Shell's going to come out again for one more. Following that same sequence. If she's now going to come with a rear for me, she's going to recover it down, rear, hook, and move out of the way. Make sense? So it all fits in place. It all kind of works in different uh, angles, but works nicely. All right. 
So I've dropped my hand to the tablet, she balance, and balance, and balance. Make sense? And of course, if you're thinking that way ahead now, I'm not going to ask you to do it, so you've got to get into position. So as she did this, bam, 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 and I stepped, bam, yes, look, bam, bam, bam. It links together, right? So we're going from out to in, in to out on all our business. Does that make sense? Cool, nice. So where are we at? Rear, right? Rear, we start. So rear, rear, hook. Be nice. So rear, round house, rear right or rear hand, lead hook. Nice again. Round house, rear, hook. Good. Round house, rear, hook. Nice. Round house, rear, hook. Nice. Stay with me, guys. Stay with it. All right. Stay with it. Round house, rear, hook. Recover your position every time. So you want to do it long hands. Watch again, guys. So just think this. If I'm doing my rear round house and I recover my position, I'm asking you to do rear and hook. If, I, if you're doing lead and you recover your position, I'm asking you to do lead um, cross. So rear, rear, front, front. One more time, guys. I'll talk you through it those that need it. So rear round house, recover your position. Rear strike, hook. Rear strike, hook. One more time for me, guys, please. Rear roundhouse, rear cross, hook. Again, one more case of the flu. That was all looking good. Again, rear roundhouse, cross, hook. Stay with me. I step forward. You do a, exactly, lead roundhouse, lead hand, rear hand, recover your position. We good? You understand, guys? Cool. So now, I have got no protection on, so take it easy, Shelley. So um, we're going to do like a, a, a little bit of a summary drill, guys, where if you're with your partner, with a partner, you can do this. If, uh, if you're just working off me, you'll just work off me when I pause. So what's going to happen is this, all right? Shelley's the one that's going to practice her skills. So at the moment, I'm over a power, and I'm going to tell you when, Shelley. Right. So say, for example, I'm smashed over and they just cut her up and move. If I'm smashing Shelly up, right, and she sees an opportunity, exactly, she'll do her little combination off that, all right? But bear in mind, bear in mind, her three strikes, she's trying to destroy me with each one. So, for example, if I was working with Shelly, smashing her up, and she saw an opportunity, but then that happened, she would have to suddenly switch. Look what I went for. Does that make sense? So, Switch and techniques because this has been so effective that you have to switch. All right, so have that in the back of your mind that yes, we can practice these wonderful combos that go on three, four, five, but any one of them we must anticipate having to switch and bring in another tool that we may have never practiced. Does that make sense, guys? Does that make sense? So, what's going to happen is this sorry, and I missed out the part there, but um, if I'm doing this and suddenly I'm doing something. It's her turn. It's her turn. She's seen an opening. She's going to do her business. But she could have also gone high. If I'd have gone this way and lifted my elbows up, she could have gone high, rear and hook. So I don't mind what you guys do. So we're going to work independently, maybe 10 or 20 seconds if you're working together. So Emma and Darren work together, and the rest of you I don't know you with. But otherwise, work with me, guys, all right? So I'm going to be smashing you up. But when I pause, if I pause like this, you probably don't want to be doing a, a high roundhouse here, right? But if I pause like this, or I'm about to hit you, you probably could get roundhouse kick here, right? Or I could bow out and leave my leg training. This might be a nice target for you. Understand that? So we're picking the right tool to the right target at the right time. All right, we've got some basic circular kicks and some straight strikes. Of course, you can do a straight strike to the groin or stomp as well, but this is all the work. We're good. So, um, while I'm working with you guys, just covering up, covering up, you're being overwhelmed, and then you're finding an opportunity where you can either do two straight strikes and a kick, or a kick and two straight strikes. So there's four outcomes. Kick, lead roundhouse. Kick, rear roundhouse. Uh, strike, roundhouse, strike, roundhouse, high or low, or roundhouse, strike, roundhouse, strike. Does that make sense? I'm talking already. 
So I'm gonna keep working with you until I stop, do your business, and get out of the way. Ready? Here we go. So smashing you up. Deal with me as you see it. Could be a kick, could be two strikes and a kick. Don't care which. Nice, work with me. Yes, nice. So he's not gonna wait there, that's good. Work with me, guys, work with me. Keep looking at me through your hands, covering up the course, covering up and trying to find a way into you. So obviously I'm covered up, so that might be an opening for my body, because my hands are here. But it's never wrong, guys, all right? You may have found an opening, because you see an angle I don't see. I'm just trying to break something for you, all right? So this could be anything, right? It could be a roundhouse kick, could be a punch, because I'm open, I'm open, right? I've, I've done something and I've done this. You probably pop my leg away, or you've closed with some strikes. Nice, hands up for me, hands up, hands up, hands up. I'm striking you, I'm looking to get in. I'm looking to get in. Deal with what you see. Not wrong, whatever you do, guys, all right? Could be strikes and a roundhouse kick, could be roundhouse and a strike. Could be a stomp and got up there, I don't care. Just see what you see. All right, here we go. Cool. Could be a roundhouse kick off this to the high, could be a low, could be any other combination. You just do what you see, guys. Have to share the stroke for give us some feedback. Yeah, we can do this. Nice guys, nice cover up. Striking, I'm striking you, I've pulled your hand down. I'm taking a breath. Attack me, attack me, attack me. So just think about this, right? When you're delivering your counter attack or your preemptive attack, if you think about it, when did you when did you get to attack me? When I rested or I paused? The same is the same, all right? If you go and destroy, if you start to do your defense or your preemptive strike and you kind of wait and think, oh, have I done the right thing? Have I this? Whatever. What's that tactic going to do to you? But if they're able, they're going to fill that space with the same sort of stuff you've just done. Does that make sense? So when we talk about P1 finishing mode, we talk about going in, round and out, or going in and out. Does that make sense? But never staying there and going, mm, you're good. So guys, this last few for me, just to revise the P1 stuff, you're either going to tap me and come out and move away, or you're going to tap me and move around me and move out of the way. So it's that good finishing mode. And now we're overrun a little bit. It's important that we do this, all right? So I attack me, go back out and move out of the way, or attack me, recover position, and carry on around the channel and move out of the way. Does that make sense? Hands up, WX. Yeah, cool. So I think it's about halfway down to the P1 stuff, P1 stuff. We ready then? So covering up, I'm attacking you, or if you're in pairs, work independently. I'm attacking you, I'm attacking you. Arrested or paused, destroy me. Go in, go in, go in, go in. I would come round or go out. Are you doing that, Shelly? Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Again, destroying you, destroying you. <laughs> destroy me, work me, <coughs> come round me or come in and come out. That's two. We're going to do ten. Get ready. I'm destroying you. I'm looking for a way in. And I've just paused. This is you. You're on. Destroy me, destroy me, destroy me. Move out, move out, move out. Cover, cover, cover. Back to that position again. Cover up, cover up, cover up. Score. Yes. Are you working with me, Shelley? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Let's talk it now. Let's finish me off. Here we go. <laughs> If they're having problems, oh, you've gone offline because you've got like low power mode. Can you also be all back yeah, on? Yeah, they're again? back on. Yeah, so guys, um, we're losing the signal on this side, all right? So we've gone over anyway. So, uh, we're talking about two more just just a, just a chance of this. But if we cut out and go, we're done anyway, all right? We're done anyway. So, two more for me, guys. Fast and furious. <laughs> Destroy, destroy, destroy. Bum. 
One more for me, guys, please. One more, one more, one more. Feel what you see for me, please. Destroy, 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 destroy. But well, I've come back at you. I'm moving towards you, lovely people. I'm trying to grab you. I'm trying to shoot to your legs. I'm trying to choke you. I'm picking up a stick and I'm trying to get you with my stick. Six away. No. Not one to tempt fate, guys, before we drop out of signal again. Yeah, I've been doing today. We'll end it there. Awesome, guys. Nice five minute plus session. Awesome, awesome. Lots of kicking, lots of striking. High low, inside roundhouse kicks, outside roundhouse kicks, knee down, rear hand, hooks. Awesome. Everything you can do, everything you need in a, in a nice strike um, combative sort of type of scenario. We all good? Happy days? Cool. If you had to send me your health form, guys, I need your health forms because otherwise, when you try to book into the, the app, if your number's different to what I've got, I won't let you in. And that way I can't start using the app. And I want you guys to start using the app because I want you to look at it and go, can you add this, Tony? Can you add this? Can you add that? And I've got something to work with, right? So if you haven't done already, guys, you know who you are, all right? Buy me at least the, your date of birth, your phone number, email address next to Kim, and their phone number, because my system needs all that, because it's a more safe to generate system, so my stuff needs all that, right? And the KMG license number. Cool, anyway, you've all seen it. So if you could do it, come for me, guys, that'd be awesome. One arm, give yourself a big clap for me, please. Cool. Hands on thighs, legs together. Well, come talk to you guys for as long as my uh, signal holds out, maybe. Kedar, awesome. Love you guys, thank you, awesome.